Welcome back. Now, former President Mwai Kibaki left office in 2013 after serving for two five-year terms as head of state and commander-in-chief of the armed forces from 2002 to 2013. Well, during his tenure, the former president, uh, Mwai Kibaki, presided over significant growth uh, in various sectors of the economy, with his greatest moment being the promulgation of the new constitution. However, Mwai Kibaki's legacy was marred when irregularities drew during a re-election bid ended in deadly violence in 2007. Ben Chumba has the details. Mwai Kibaki, na hapa kwamba. On 30th December 2002, Mwai Kibaki took the oath of office as Kenya's third president on a wheelchair in front of hundreds of thousands of Kenyans at Uhuru Park in Nairobi. With his right leg in a cast after a December 3rd car accident at Machakos Junction, Kibaki swore to conduct his duties as president without fear or favor or malice. Kibaki will then reward Wamalwa Kijana with the vice presidency for his contribution to his presidential win. On January 3rd, 2003, Kibaki named his first cabinet where many of his loyalists who had campaigned for him when he was recovering from the accident made it to the list. Among them were Raila Odinga, Mother Karua, Kalonzo Musyoka, Charity Ngilu, Mudia Wari, Lina Jebi Kilimo, Naji Balala, Kiraitu Murungi, Anyang Nyongo, Chirau Ali Makwere, Mukisa Kitui, and Ochilo Ayako. However, the year 2007-2008 was no ordinary year for Kenyans after a disputed election where more than 1,500 people died and 650,000 others were displaced. Former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan mediated the talks between the government and the opposition where a power-sharing agreement was reached reintroducing the position of Prime Minister into the government. In the chaotic aftermath of the 2007-2008 unrest, Kibaki would find himself in an unusual position of presiding over a referendum that overwhelmingly endorsed a new constitution aimed at averting a repeat of the violence. Ben Chumba, Prime Edition.